Hey, what's up guys? This is Mario from uh, Trader Today, and in today's video, I'm gonna talk about Spotify. Um, should I invest in Spotify? Now, I just had a recent IPO on April 3rd, and a lot of people are wondering, should I invest in Spotify? Now, this is an IPO. Now, there's a different set of rules when it comes down to investing in IPOs that I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna go over SEC filings, I'm gonna go over major shareholders, and I'm gonna go over the shard and why that matters. Now, as a reminder, this video is for learning purposes only. All right, so let's get started. So Spotify, as you guys can see, this is a chart. This is a day, daily chart. Um, and again, because it's an IPO, that's why it looks like this. The first day of it traded was actually April 3rd, which is yesterday. And it had a uh, actually a sell-off. <laughs> and then today, it, uh, actually, uh, there was a little bounce. Uh, and it actually closed today at $144.22. If you see that number here in the top, $144.22. That's what it closed today. So I'm going to talk about why IPOs are a little tricky to invest, especially when they first come out uh, to the public. Um, and I'm going to go over the chart, and I'm also going to go over uh, an example, a uh, snapshot in this chart, and I'm going to explain why. Uh, but before I get into all that in terms of the technicals and the chart, I'm going to go over the SEC filings. So let's take a look at that. So the, the, uh, the reason why the SEC filings are important is because it shows us who owns majority stake of Spotify, how many shares are outstanding, and, um, and why, and, uh, and all that kind of, which is very, very important when it comes down to, again, the price action and, and stuff like that. So again, there's 55,731,480 ordinary shares outstanding out there uh, for people to trade. Now, a lot of these shares are owned uh, by employees and venture capital firms and the founders, uh, which again, they may not sell, they may wait later on to sell. But again, it's very, very important to understand that because that really matters, that affects the chart. So, What's very, very important when, when looking at an IPO is to look at principal shareholders. Principal shareholders are the major shareholders of Spotify. And it tells you who they are and how much they own. Now, as you guys can see, Daniel Elk, which is actually one of the founders, he owns 27.1% of the company, which is around 49, over 49 million shares. Okay, it's very, very important. So one of the founder owns 27.1% of the company. That's actually huge. He has a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, I guess, voting power. Now, one of the other founders is Martin Lorenzen. Uh, he owns 13.1% of ordinary shares, which is a very big position and also has a lot of voting power. Now, this vindication certificates, uh, the reason why they made it is actually for voting power. Uh, and as you guys can see, Daniel Eck, Daniel, Daniel Eck owns actually more uh, ordinary shares but than uh, Martin Lorenzen, but Martin Lorenzen has, actually has more voting power. So I, I guess it kind of balances the power uh, between both um, Daniel, Elk, Daniel Eck, Eck and Martin Lorenzen. And I guess that's probably something they kind of talked about to kind of balance each other in terms of power. So he gets more, uh, more, more capital. Daniel L, but Martin gets more voting power in terms of making major decisions of the company. If there's a disagreement between Daniel and Martin, Martin is going to have the voting power to overpower Daniel in any voting decision. So, again, moving on. So, uh, the most important thing when it comes down to principal shareholders is the venture capitalists. Now, as you guys can see, Tire Global owns 7%, Tencent owns 9%, and uh, TCV owns 5%, and Sony Music Entertainment owns another 5%. Uh, and I'm going to give an example about Tyro Global, you know, and, and, and just give an example why uh, when, when uh, venture capital if, capitals firms invest early on in the company, um, that could kind of kind of expel disaster for the initial move of an IPO because these, these guys, these venture capitalists, invest in millions of dollars up front, and once the company goes public, they're looking to sell out and cash in, okay? So you're, pretty much what ends up happening, you have a sell-off uh, the, in the first couple days of uh, the IPO. And of course, why a sell-off? Because these guys 
our that's their goal. Their business model is we invest early, you know, five or or, or three or five or ten years uh, before the company goes public, and then once it goes public, we cash in. All right. And usually, how venture capitalists work for for a nine big investments they make for ten for ten big investments they make, usually only one makes it big, and that one investment literally covers for all the losses of the of the of the other nine investments they made plus some profit and that's their business model that's where they work so that's the reason why they have to cash in because they got to cash in some profit because not all their investments work because there's a lot of risky investments that a lot of these venture capitalist firms make so keep that in mind guys because again that's going to put on pressure to the price of spotify and if you guys could see that it showed on the first day you know there was 30 million shares traded on the first day now let me look at the intraday chart so it's more clear so I guess, again like I said there's 30 million, million shares traded in the first day which is April 3rd and it was sell-off volume every single pop was sold off so as you guys can see uh, most likely these were venture capitalist firm cashing in on their investments so let's look at that investments you know let's give an example of Tiger Global you know which owns 7.2% 12 million shares and how much they invested and when they invested now as you guys could see uh, this is um, secondary market Spotify raised money announced they announced a raise in November 1st 2015 so we're talking about three years ago and they raised hundred and fifty million dollars and who was the investor Tiger Global Management which is this guy's right here which they own again 7.2 percent of the company now they invested 150 million dollars all right guys so so their investment has to be worth at least 10 times that or more which it actually does and let's do the math guys let's do the math so right now you guys can see tiger global owns 12 million eight hundred and one thousand two hundred eighty shares so let's do the calculator and I actually already put this in the system so it's already there 12 0801280 again this is the amount of shares they own times the uh, price of, of Spotify right now now again just so you guys know um, Spotify opened yesterday and again um, there uh, let's put it this way um, 30 million shares were sold were traded yes on uh, yesterday which you guys can see right here this number uh, and uh, 11 million shares were over 11 million shares were traded today. So keep in mind there were more sellers at the open than there was buyers. And why? Because these huge venture capitalist firms are cashing in. That's literally what they're doing. They're cashing in their investment. So they're putting pressure on the stock. And you can just tell it. Look, there's more sellers than buyers. Every pop is a selling opportunity for these guys. So let's put it in. Uh, let's quantify this and um, make it simpler to kind of see. Let me put a 30 million, 30 minute chart. Um, you know, a uh, yeah, actually, yeah, let me make sure this is a 10 day, 30 minute chart. Okay, a lot, a lot easier to see. So, you guys can see in the, in the open, there was 11 million shares sold, which a lot of it most likely was Tiger. On uh, the second half an hour, there's another 3 million shares, another 2.5 million shares, again, 2.4 million shares, 3 million shares, uh, another another uh, 3 million shares, another 2 million shares. So pretty much this venture, the VC companies were selling out, they're cashing in. So I'm going to say that on average, um, Tiger Global sold Spotify shares. I'm going to put 160. I'm going to say 160. Because again, 12 million shares were sold on the first half hour, which I highly doubt it. It was all them, you know, because again, there's other investors who are also sold, other VCs, you know, like for example, uh, Tencent, uh, Sony, or TCV, you know, they probably cashed in too. So let's let's look at uh, let's think about let's give it a 160. Actually, let's be even more conservative, and let's say they sold around 155. We'll just put that as an average. So again, we have a uh, 12.801280 shares. At a 12, 155 average, and you're looking at, uh, let's see, uh, let's see, three, so that's hundreds, uh, 
hundreds, thousands, millions. So, uh, so you're looking at one point nine billion dollars. That's what they cashed in uh, on April third. So that's their business model. Once a company goes global, they sell. Why? Because I need that actual additional money to again cover some other losses from other bad investments they made and also to cover some profits. So if you divide this one point actually one nine eight four one nine eight four zero zero, which if you think about it, um, it is actually one point nine billion dollars. Uh, if you want to round it up, oh, let's just put two billion dollars. If you divide that by 150 million, which is uh, the amount that they originally invested, 150 million. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that's 150 million right there. Okay, guys. So they actually made around 13 times their money, which is actually pretty awesome. That's a really good investment. Again. Um, VCs, venture capitalists, their goal is to make 10 times their money. And in how many years? Look at it. In three years, because they invested $150 million in November 1st, 2015. So for them, once the company goes, the IPO is initial public offering, once it goes public, they cash in. They're not going to be waiting around what happens to the stock, etc. So they're cashing in. And because of that, that's the reason why IPOs are not a good investment, especially in the first uh, day, second, even third week, or even a month after they go public. Because you got huge, huge venture capitalists with huge amount of shares, huge positions to cash in once it goes public. So again, keep in mind, that is just, that it was just higher global. Again, Tencent owns 9%, another 60 million shares. TCV owns 5%, you know, another 9 million shares. Sony owns 10%, means 5.7%, another 10 million shares. Um, and keep in mind that uh, Daniel and Martin, they're actually, their stock is restricted. You know, they have RSUs with restricted stock units. So they're actually not able to sell until 60 days after, after March 21st. So you guys can see, according to the rules of the SEC, beneficial ownership includes voting or investment power with respect to securities and includes the ordinary shares, usable persona to options, warrants, and RSUs that are exercisable or settled within 60 days of March 21st, 2018. So 60 days after March 21st, you may have Daniel or Marin cashing in as well. So um, as you guys can see, um, you know, it may happen, it may keep, it may keep, price may keep going down even further. And that's, again, that's the reason why it's not a good idea to invest in IPOs, especially nowadays, because companies, um, just to give an example, back in the day, back in the 2000s, when there was a whole tech bubble, companies used to literally go public right away. So they used to raise money in the public market markets right away and not even do the private markets. But now it's the opposite. Now companies usually are private for longer and on average, it's around 10 years. And again, Spotify was founded in July 14, 2016. We're already in, in what, March 2018. That's over 10 years, you know? So we're talking about 12 years, actually, since uh, Spotify went uh, opened up. So that's a long time. And again, and it kind of look at the statistics of what they've done in the meantime. And again, Spotify is still operating at a loss, but... Look at it. So the valuation at the IPO was twenty nine thousand. Money raised at the IPO is nine point two billion. So besides the ownerships, uh, owners uh, cashing in, um, you know, there was also money raised. They raised nine point two billion dollars at the average IPO at one sixty five ninety. So keep that also in mind that they're also selling shares to the market to raise money, and they raise around nine point two billion. And again, they're going to use that money to reinvest in Spotify to create services and hire employees to grow the company. Now, this is very very important. Number of funding rounds. There was twenty two funding rounds, and out of those funding rounds, meaning that every single round they raised maybe uh, they put in hundred million or two hundred million, three hundred million, whatever, whatever, whatever. 
They totally raised $2.7 billion in cash over the last 12 years. Um, and very, very important to understand that, okay? So they raised around $2.7 billion in cash. Um, and again, all these investors, which if you see the number of investors who are part of those rounds, they all pretty much are cashing in. Now you can see there's a billion dollars raise here, $500 million raise here, $150 million. Now this was Tiger Global, and there was $526 million uh, raised uh, actually by 15 investors on June 10, 2015. So you guys can see, uh, now there's there's seven lead investors and there's a, a total number of 44 investors. These seven lead investors are definitely cashing in on this IPO. And some of these 44 investors in total are also cashing in. So um, there's a lot of people cashing in right away at the IPO. Um, and that's the reason why IPOs are not a good investment when they first come out. You know, you have to wait a couple months. Best wait, actually, after they report earnings, the first quarter, second quarter, even third quarter, to see what's really going on. Uh, to see if, again, Spotify hasn't really made money yet. They have, they're not profitable yet. Uh, but uh, the, 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 the most, most important for them is, for them is, is subscribers. Uh, and actually, you can see that here in the um, in the in the SEC filings, and you can actually see that here. Let me see, bot rights, market summary, risk factors, uh, market and industry data. I believe it might actually be market industry data. Not here. Let's see where can we find that data. I don't remember seeing that data. Okay, let's see. Actually, it's easier to get the data right here. Uh, let's see. Now, let me actually Google it. <clears throat> uh, Spotify. Fi, uh, Spotify um, SEC filings. It's actually a lot faster to do it this way. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, actually, it's the same thing. Um, I believe it might be in the summary of market industry, and it shows data. Actually, you know what? Let me do this. It's a lot better. Uh, let me see, tech info, Telegraph, Bloomberg. Actually, it might be better just use Go. Uh, all right, okay. I'm not gonna make you guys look at all this stuff because this is a lot of information, and it should be around here somewhere where it shows how many subscribers, how many of them are paying what, and actually and all that kind of stuff there's factors I mean everything is here in the perspectives just keep that in mind guys but again keep in mind that right now Spotify is, is not profiting right now the main goal of Spotify now is to get as many subscribers excuse me paying subscribers to increase their base eventually if they keep doing that they will become profitable and that's what, again, investors and long-term investors are looking for. So before you invest, um, you want to keep in mind that you have VCs who are selling and cashing in. And if you are buying, you pretty much are backholding. Now, let me give an example of Snap. Snap went public. Actually, here in this day, which is March 2nd, 2017. You had the pop, initial pop, because there's a lot of excited, excited people, a lot of millennials buying into this IPO, thinking this thing could double, go crazy. But again, there was more VC selling into it, and they're cashing in. And and look at it; it literally just didn't really do much. And even after the first earnings report, um, again, they were saying that of course they were losing money, which again 
very common for IPOs. Um, and again, the market didn't like it. Keeps kept selling, went all the way down to 11, and it started a little consolidating around this area. So that's what you want to see before you even consider investing in IPO. You want to see consolidation, and then you want to see higher highs, higher highs. Now, this earnings report was something that a lot of investors liked because they actually beat earnings, uh, and there was huge buy-ins, but then again, no follow-through. It couldn't hold these levels of support, and it kept breaking down and selling off. So that's very, very important uh, because most IPOs have a similar pattern. Even Facebook had a similar pattern like that. And then you put on Facebook. Again, Facebook is actually a success story, but if, if you guys, I don't know if you guys recall, back in 2011, it was, it was not really nice, and a lot of people didn't like what happened in Facebook in 2011. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, so let me, actually, let me, let me go look at it really quick. Uh, time set up, actually. Uh, I wanna see if I could, there you go. I'm gonna put 10 years. There you go, 10 years. Okay, we got it. So again, similar type of pattern. Look what I have in Facebook. It actually went public on May 18, 2012. Sold off, all the VC selling, all the venture capitalists cashing in. Again, had his earnings, second earnings. He had a little bounce, couldn't hold, and it finally started trending. It finally started trending, holding how highs. Again, all these earnings reports. So I don't see, sometimes you may have to wait until a year until you see if this is gonna hold. And it's all about the earnings. You know, are their earnings growing? Are they beating earnings reports? Are they beating expectations? Are they increasing subscribers? And that's the same thing with Spotify. These tech companies, that's how they work. And it looks like here, um, they actually beat earnings report. They double, they beat it by twice as much. And that's when investors really got in. And then you guys can see this huge volume. And then literally Facebook ever since then just kept trending, kept going, getting higher highs and higher lows. And, you know, and literally from $30 is now trading now at our bound uh, 155 after the sell-off. But as you guys can see, that's what you have to look for before you decide to invest in any IPO because it's definitely gonna be choppy the first couple months and not the first year or two. And then you have to see earnings and you have to see price action tell you otherwise before you invest for the long run. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys learned something about investing in IPOs. I hope this example and these videos uh, gave you a glimpse as to why initial public offerings are not a good idea. Um, definitely do your research and if you are considering spot to invest in Spotify, again, read those perspectives. Uh, and my recommendation is to wait uh, after their earnings report to see if they're actually increasing their subscribers and to see if they're beating earnings expectations because it's all based on expectations. If they're beating earnings, that means they're, they're doing good things. And if their subscribers are increasing, that's also good. But if they're not, and they're not beating earnings, then something you may want to stay away. You want to see the similar pattern to Facebook. You want to see um, higher highs, higher lows develop in a, in a strong trend form with high volume before you really start thinking that this is gonna go start trending. All right guys, hope you guys learned something. Uh, again, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions and you guys will hear from me soon. Have a good one guys, bye.